What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, look at that headline right there. Indiana Jones 5, Phoebe Waller-Bridge lands female lead in next installment opposite Harrison Ford. We all know what that means. We all know exactly what that means. And we know how she's going to be portrayed and how she's going to treat Harrison Ford and how he's going to be the stupid man who makes all the mistakes. And she's going to be the heroic female that saves the day and has all of the answers and knows everything and beats everybody up. That's what this is going to be. And I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad or angry because at this point, I don't care about anything Hollywood produces, specifically Lucasfilm, because they have proven that they are not interested in good storytelling. They're not interested in the properties that they have control over. They're just interested in pandering and identity politics. And if you disagree with them, you're an ist or an ism. You're a toxic fan. And they're just going to continue to try and misrepresent you and then hire uh, these uh, shell companies, these shell Twitter accounts to then write these articles so that all of their employees can tweet it out and pretend that they didn't know anything about it. This is Lucasfilm. But we all know what this is going we all know what this is going to do in terms of Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones. We know how this is going to play out. We've seen it over and over and over again. And this is hilarious. So um, following the confirmation at the Disney investors presentation in December that the next film was a go, Lucasfilm and director James Mangold will look to have their sights set on Harrison Ford's first new co-star in the next installment of the Indiana Jones franchise. Sources tell Deadline that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is set to co-star opposite Ford in the fifth installment, with Ford returning as everyone's favorite fedora-wearing, whip-slinging uh, archaeologist. Mangold is taking over directing range from Steven Spielberg Spielberg, who still is serving as producer and is very much involved with various elements of the film. Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall, and Simon Emanuel will join Spielberg as producers. John Williams, who has worked on every score in the franchise, uh, including his iconic theme, will also return as composer. Uh, the hope is to start production by this summer with Mangold meeting with other talent uh, for the other roles in preparation. Plot details still vague on what new adventures wait, await Jones. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The film is set to bow on July 29, 2022. Uh, Waller Bridge has had quite a run after her TV show Fleabag became a critical darling, eventually sweeping the 2019 Emmys, including wins for Best Actress and Best Comedy Series. Um, and then it kind of goes on into more of the stuff that she's worked on. Now, again... Uh, let me be clear, because uh, obviously with the uh, the people that don't like me will react to the headline, uh, my thumbnail, and they're going to be like, Jeremy doesn't like women, and he's... Uh, look, I have no problem with Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I have no problem with this casting in isolation. What I have a problem with is that we have seen Lucasfilm and Hollywood over and over and over again use identity politics, and they compromise the story they are too busy telling us how man is bad and woman is good they've done this so many times to the point where we know what this is going to be we know how this story is going to play out and the celebration of a female lead in the headline it's all about their identity politics they can't just say phoebe waller bridge uh lands the lead in the next installment of the uh indiana jones movie no no it has to be female-led because it's all about race and gender with them. They're obsessed with race and gender. It's their presentation. It's how they are using people's race and gender. It has nothing to do with me being upset that there's a woman involved. It's how Hollywood is going to use the woman's involvement and how they have proven time and time again that they are going to take the identity politics and they are going to ruin the story because they are more concerned with social justice narratives, with agenda-driven storytelling, than they are actually giving a good story with a good written character. We have seen well-written characters that are females all over the place. I've been recently watching a lot of anime, and anime has a lot of strong female characters that are respectable, and you like them. We've seen plenty of female characters over the years in movies that were well-written, and they weren't celebrated because they were a woman. They were just mentioned as a lead in the movie, or they were just presented as a lead in the movie. But when you present someone 
as their gender or their race upon the announcement, you are telling anyone with a working brain that you are focused on all the wrong things. This has nothing to do with Phoebe Waller-Bridge. This has everything to do with Hollywood and Lucasfilm's treatment of non-white dudes. This is what this is about. So, if you're upset at me talking about this, then you should be upset with Hollywood because Hollywood continues to destroy franchises with identity politics. And that is what this is a problem. Uh, that This is the problem we are focusing on and this is why I continue to laugh about it because we know how this is going to end. It's not going to end well. It's going to be a disaster. And, you know, this could be a well-written character, and it could be a character that's done for the right reasons. But Lucasfilm has already shown us with the forces female, with Rey Skywalker, with Kelly Marie Tran and everything they did with Rose Tico. Kelly Marie Tran, sweetheart of a person, bubbly personality, you know, very attractive young lady, sweetheart, great personality. You could do so much with her in a role in a Star Wars movie, yet they gave us Rose Tico. The argument and the criticism was always against Rose Tico because so many people said like Kelly Marie Tran seems like a great person and she's got a great personality. Why didn't we see any of that in the writing of the character that she was put in for Star Wars? Why didn't we see that? Because they weren't worried about that. They were never worried about that. They're only worried about pushing whatever agenda they want to push. And then they want to accuse the fans of being ist and isms for criticizing their bad storytelling. This is going to be more of the same. Um, and I have no faith whatsoever in Lucasfilm. I have no faith in Disney. I have no faith in Hollywood. I have no faith in any of these people that want to present to you identity politics upon the announcement. We already know how this is going to end. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Make sure you check us out over on geesandgamers.com. I'm going to do a video on this in the near future. I don't know when. But if you Google, if you just Google CNN memes, Geeks and Gamers is the first result on Google. CNN memes. Geeks and Gamers first result. I'm probably going to do a video on this. Um, and that's coming from our forums because someone created a CNN memes in our forums over on geeksandgamers.com. And now that is the first result on Google when you type in CNN memes, even ahead of CNN. It's beautiful. You guys are doing such a great job over on the website, and I greatly appreciate all of your support. Continue to uh, push content in those forums. Continue to utilize the uh, blogs that we have for your profiles. And if you want to, for $10 a month, you can become a premium member. It gets you exclusive access to a lot of our content, and it continues to help us build this platform. So thank you very much for all the support. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.